Russian air defense shot down its own Ka-29 helicopter, Ukrainians used new tactics. On June the 21st, Russian air defense forces shot down their own Ka-29 transport and combat aircraft near Anapa in the Krasnodar region. The entire crew died. Russian telegram channels report. Russian propagandists said that they shot down their plane allegedly because of a large-scale attack by the Ukrainian armed forces on the Russian Federation. According to them, Ukraine has begun to use a new tactic in its strikes. Simultaneous attacks by drones and unmanned boats. Ukrainians used new tactics, simultaneous attack and UAVs. To repel the attack of boats, you need to scramble planes. To fight off UAVs, you need to destroy air targets. And we don't have one with the other, they say. As you know, the Ka-29 helicopter was involved in operations to search and destroy Ukrainian surface drones. And the enemy Ka-29 was negated by their own Pantsir complex. The Kamov Ka-29, designated Helix B by NATO, is a twin rotor naval helicopter developed in the 1970s. It can accommodate up to 16 troops. The Ka-29 helicopter operates from Russian warships such as the Vasily Baikov and fulfills roles like troop transport, search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare and, like in this case, airborne assault missions. Russia's defense ministry said earlier that its forces downed more than 100 drones launched by Ukraine to attack annexed Crimea, Krasnodar Krai and the Volgograd region. An attempt by the Kyiv regime to carry out a terrorist attack using unmanned boats and aircraft type unmanned aerial vehicles against targets on the territory of the Russian Federation was stopped, the ministry said in a statement. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine officially informs about the defeat by the defense forces of a number of important enemy targets on the territory of the Russian Federation, including storage sites for Shaheds. At night, the Ukrainian Defense Forces launched a successful strike on the storage and preparation sites for the Shahed 136-stroke Geranium 2 educational buildings, control and communication points for the crews of these UAVs located in the Krasnodar territory. Based on the results of the combat work, a series of explosions and a fire were recorded, followed by detonation, the General Staff reports. Also, according to the General Staff, that night, the Afipsky, Ilsky, Krasnodar and Astrakhan oil refineries were attacked by unmanned aerial systems. A powerful storm hit Russian capital Moscow on Thursday afternoon, killing at least two people and injuring over a dozen others, authorities reported. Russia's emergency services ministry said a man was killed near Park Dubki in northern Moscow when wind gusts of around 18 to 23 meters per second uprooted a tree that then crushed him. As a result of unfavorable weather conditions, 18 people were hospitalized in city hospitals, three of them are in serious condition. Among those hospitalized are four children, their condition is assessed as satisfactory, the press service of Moscow Health Department told local media. The Ministry of Emergency Situations warned of possible tornadoes from 12 to 1700 hours local time on Thursday. It said strong winds and rain was expected to continue until 2200 hours on Thursday. The storm has caused cancellation of around 50 flights across the capital city. The plane flying from Magadan to Moscow failed to land at the capital's Sheremetyevo airport and landed in Nizhny Novgorod. According to meteorologists, the deadly storm was brought in by a strong cold front. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin warned on Wednesday that a powerful storm system was expected to bring heavy rain and high winds, as well as rare tornadoes to Moscow the following day. Как в Канзасе. Ох, нет. Смотри, оно правда закручивается.